You know, I, I think going over the cliff would have been a, an economic disaster for the country. It was too much, uh, too quick, uh, too abruptly. And if you look at the cuts that were, you know, in the, in the sequester, they're all in the discretionary items. None of them deal with the things that we really need to slow the rate of growth on, and that's the entitlement programs. Uh, and it did generate a little revenue for the company, about si country about $600 billion worth. So I would have voted for it. It was a step in the right direction, but for sure, Wolf, it was a missed opportunity. We've had an, enough of this brinksmanship, this moving from crisis to crisis. That is a foolish way for any organization, small or large, much less the U.S. government, the largest economy in the world, to, to, to run its organization. Here's what we got to do. We have got to do, make the tough decisions. And we're, you know, we're only about halfway there of the things we have to do. We've got to make sure that we you know, reform our tax code. We've got to broaden the base, simplify the code, get rid of some of this backdoor spending in the tax code. We've got to slow the rate of growth of the entitlement programs, particularly health care. If we don't slow the rate of growth of health care, it will absolutely bankrupt the country. And finally, we've got to make Social Security sustainably solvent. These are the big items we have to deal with if we're going to stabilize the debt and get it on a downward path as a percent of GDP. I don't care whether you're a Republican or Democrat. Together, we created this mess. And it's our responsibility to clean it up. We can't leave this to the next generation.